What's up, bear? What's up, bear dog? <laughs> you my pet dog? Hi guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be a baking video, which I had to come outside for just a second because I cannot get over how warm it is out here today. It is like 67 degrees or some odd weird shit in February here where I live. So it's amazing. I'm in shorts. It's it's fantastic. I wish the weather would stay like this, even though I know it's gonna be cold as hell within a few days probably again. And then, you know, people are gonna be sick and you know, the process just starts all over again. So yeah, it's great. By the way, I think we're, there we are, we're zoomed in, yeah. So anyway, today's going to be a baking video and um, I look like crap, so don't pay any mind to me. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up. It will be, I think, Saturday. Next Saturday, today is Sunday, so I am going to be filming a brownie baking video with you guys today. So we are making red velvet brownies, and I will just kind of do this video differently. I hope you guys are okay with that, but I'm just gonna like go in the kitchen and show you step by step how to do it instead of doing like a voiceover on a baking video. I'm just gonna take you through it as I go along, so maybe you guys um, let me know if you which ways you like me to film baking videos or cooking videos if you want me to Film what I do and voice it or voice over it or if you just like me talking you guys through what I'm doing Whichever way is more helpful. Please let me know and yeah So these brownies are going to be red velvet brownies and you just use like regular cake mix and you can um, make these for your special someone or your family or hey, um, just for yourself because they're freaking awesome and they're so easy to make. And I don't know, I'm just like, I love these brownies. They're so delicious and so easy. So let's get into the video. Like, yeah, let's go. Okay, so you guys just wanna get out your KitchenAid mixer or whatever kind of mixer that you have. So the next thing that you need to get, you need to get your cake mix, which I just got the Duncan Hines Red Velvet Cake Mix. So you can get this at Walmart or the grocery store or wherever, and it doesn't have to be this brand, but you just want to get a regular cake mix. And then you need some brown sugar, a stick of butter, which we are going to melt this in the microwave, and you also need um, some eggs. And I will give you guys the exact amount of ingredients that you need in the down bar below so you will know exactly what to do. And you also need to preheat your oven to 350. Bam. Bam. Not included in the recipe, but yeah. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to add your cake mix into your mixer. I'm doing. The recipe actually calls for two eggs. So if you guys have large regular eggs from the store, just use two. I, however, have farm eggs, so they're a little bit smaller, so I'm going to double the amount, and I'm going to use four instead of two. There's one. Shoot, I don't want to do that. Let me lay these somewhere. Okay. Crap. I'm terrible at cracking eggs. The next thing that you're going to add, you're going to add some brown sugar in. I believe it is one fourth a cup of brown sugar. That's enough. So the last step is to melt your one stick of butter in the microwave or whatever you want to use to melt it with. So I melted my butter in the microwave and we're just going to add our butter in and that is all for the ingredients. It's really simple and really easy. Now we're just going to mix it. Add 
say that's about right. And as you can tell, it looks thick like a uh, brownie batter, which it's really, really thick. Here, we're gonna put this in a, I think this is a eight by 10 baking dish. This is actually called a brownie pan and I bought it at Walmart. Not that expensive. I'm gonna take some cooking spray and just spray your pan evenly so that way your brownies don't stick. You guys are going to want to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes on 350 and I will show you guys what they look like when they're done. My brownies into evenly squares. So let's start our business. these strawberries kind of into heart shapes to represent the Valentine's Day theme so I just I'll show you guys how I did the little strawberries cut that stem piece off and then you're just going to take the strawberry and cut it in half like this long ways and then you're going to cut on the fatter side make like a triangle and then you're just going to take that piece out and you're left with a heart so it's that simple hey guys so i finally put all my brownies on this two plates for right now and I have a total of 14 brownies I actually dropped one brownie so yeah so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to frost all these brownies with some cream cheese icing there we go So those are our finished red velvet brownies. See, they look awesome. Also, if you guys didn't want to use cream cheese icing, you could probably substitute that for a Cool Whip, which that sounds kind of good too. Or if you don't like icing, you don't have to have icing on them. So that is it for today's cooking video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. And I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed the way that I did today's cooking video. Or if you like it better the other way. When I voice over the video and I try to explain to you what I'm doing. Or if you like it better this way. So let me know. So I know. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.